Hi everybody, it's me Ligar Lax and I'm back again. It's also Chino or Artie. I'm here to do this one review. Um, it's incredible. I mean, you don't even need to buy a Nintendo Wii. And I'm not going to say where you can get ROMs, you know, basically the games. Uh, but I'll tell you where you guys can get the Wii emulator. This is the review I have so far. Um, I'm using my Windows computer and then let's play Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo Wii. I had already preset it exactly the way I wanted it. The only thing is, um, I've been benchmarking it, and you don't even need a fast computer. I even tried it on a, on a single core processor, and this this emulator is so great. Um, oh, right here is, and that's I'm running it in Windows. If I press the home key, it actually emulates. The only thing the cursor is kind of off a little bit because you know the Nintendo Wii is kind of kind of buttery the way it smooths in. So I go back to that. Here we go. p very high def i raised the resolution internal resolution to very very high Ooh. i mean if i can zoom in without blurring the image see if the camera focuses that's in gameplay and that's very sharp you know i wish i had a stronger camera but my camera only records up to 480p i'm playing it in the windows mode now if i put it on full screen this full screen mode Oh my god, it's incredible. It looks high as 1080p. Now back to Windows Phone. You know this this is not using a video game capture or anything like that. I'm not BSing. Oh, I pressed that wrong button. So far, I'm to three minutes to my video. I'm not used to this. I'm still trying to get used to the Wii control setup on my keyboard. So if I select world, I don't know how to set this up. There we go. And this game is so picture perfect. But I gotta show you how I had the layout control. It's kind of weird because I don't have a Wii remote. Right here, this this is uh, move that lighter out of the way and that glass of water. I'm moving it with the cursor, and then in order for me to jump, I have to use the mouse button. So, so that's how you play that game, and then it depends on the game. And some rail rail games, they call rail games, like House of the Dead was perfect because it just uses the mouse. This is just perfect. And let me see. The only thing is I when I went to the settings I forgot to disable cursor while in gameplay.
And this game reminds me of, um, we'll, we'll review about this game so quick. This game reminds me so much of Planet Terror, or one of those grindhouse movies. They met as adversaries. A they met as adversaries. A monster made them allies. <laughs> a secret agent. Now, for Nintendo GameCube, it does work with Nintendo GameCube games as well. Now, I get to use the GameCube controller, but certain games, uh, Nintendo Wii supports the GameCube controller, um, so I enabled my USB uh, controller to work. So, now I'm playing Batman Begins on the GameCube. Um, just to show you, it does work, and it's incredible. Yeah, it is. The cool part about this, this, this emulator is that I'm hoping they can make an emulator like this for the Nintendo Wii. I'm trying to figure out the button layouts. And the picture is so perfect. A little crunchy noise in the background. Yeah, because I had to, I put on V-Sync con. This game was never released on the PC, so now I get to play the GameCube version in my computer. Which looks as good as the PS2 version, but with a sharper image. Uh, skip those movie scenes. I've seen it already. Fear. Fear murdered my parents. On the far side of the world, I tasted fear in its purest form and thought I had conquered it. But fear followed me home. I actually just noticed that my controller does glow. <laughs> I, just, I just realized that right now. I don't know. I... I, I just got this controller for less than 15 bucks at Walmart, and it's a PS2, PS3 controller with USB. But too bad, certain games are proprietary, so you have to do have if some some PC games this does not support this because you have to buy a 360 controller. Now this is in gameplay. Let me try to zoom in on the graphics. The Dolphin emulator is incredible. It does all the transform and lighting, enhanced graphics, and if I tweak the settings more, the game would look more smoother. BB, let's see. Oh. Why? Okay. Let's look full screen, it would look incredible more. Yes, it looks just like... Um. settings and then hide mouse cursor I'll keep that intact well I'm gonna give my final thoughts to this game um, emulator this emulator is fast and uh, I was introduced to this emulator by my best friend who had a Mac and it was running very fluently then I saw the specs in the in the website you don't even need a strong computer you just have to tweak up the settings a little bit I tried on a single core processor, a Pentium 4, and it was working smooth with only 64 megabytes of video RAM. Right now, I'm pushing my computer and it's running smooth as well. Um, I'm using my, um, my dual core and it's running well, really good, but with the single core, it runs only 800 by 600 resolution. Right now, I've pushed the resolution up to 1080p identical image, but it's actually not almost, it's almost, it's actually 1600, 1600 by 900 resolution, that's all. And on um, yeah, I gotta tell you the truth, uh, check on the link down, rate this video if you guys like it. Have a Nintendo Wii for free on your computer. And, I don't know, my camera kind of panned here a little bit. I ha real, real quick, that's a JXD. I had that thing before the Nintendo Wii U came out. I had all the Chinese knockoffs before the original stuff had came out. So, but molding wise. Okay, thank you for watching.